What is going on you guys? Brandon here aka Bruatis and today I'm gonna be eating Devin Booker's diet for the next 24 hours. And if you're wondering why my name is on my brother's large forehead, that is because he lost the challenge in my video and he has to keep that on for the entire video. So a uh, quick little lesson for everyone watching, if you're ever in a phase rug challenge, ever, it's a possibility, don't lose or else you end up looking like me so anyways let's find out what devin booker eats in a day and let's go eat it let's go guys let's go guys bro do i really have to keep this on the whole video the whole entire video i don't want to see it wiped off i'm gonna be reviewing it bro yeah okay yeah so let a me bet is a bet it's time to go eat what devin booker eats in a day but with rug tatted on your forehead let's go guys all right, guys, so here's the issue about having rug splattered all over my forehead. Okay, wait, pause. That came off really, really wrong. Here's the issue with having my brother's name written all over my forehead for today's video. Today's video that I'm filming is not an at-home video. It's not the type of video where I'm gonna sit in my room and film a little story time video inside of my house. No, for the video that I'm filming today, it requires me to go out in public, go to the store, you know, go buy whatever Devin Booker eats for a day. So now... <laughs> I'm gonna be going out in public. It's just people are gonna be staring at me and people are gonna be giving me looks I don't know bro, but a bet is a bet a challenge is a challenge I lost to my brother so I gotta do it and now let's walk into the store busy store I should say as you could tell by this parking lot full of cars Let's go buy what Devin Booker eats for breakfast and let's see how many people are gonna be staring at my freaking forehead This is so embarrassing. Like, I already know whether people are actually gonna say something to my face or not, they're thinking it. Whether someone's actually gonna come up to me and be like, hey, doofus, you have something written on your forehead, or if they're too shy to come up to me and say it, I already know they're gonna be thinking it in their head that I look like a jackass. So, let's enter the store and go buy Devin Booker's breakfast. Hopefully it's not too busy, but I already see a lot of people here, so. Oh, it's busy. Ay, ay, ay. Brian, you said you were gonna be watching this video, right? Just know, I hate you, bro. Bro, the worst part about today is that it's actually busy over here in the store. <laughs> of course, the one day I come here with this shit written on my forehead, there's a ton of people in here. Hey, everybody do me a huge favor. Go smash that like button. Drop a like on this video because I know a lot of other YouTubers who would have wiped this off their forehead as soon as they got it written. But I'm a real one. I'm going to keep this written on my forehead for the whole entire video. So since I'm doing that, everyone go drop a like right now. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, looking at the list of Devin Booker's diet, everything that Devin Booker eats in a day, there's no chips, there's no sodas, there's no no freaking candy in his diet. Like it's just a bunch of healthy stuff, like like stuff like this. This is new to me, bro. I love candy, I love chips, I love soda. So today's video should be really interesting. Oh, and by the way, yes, I did wear a headband to kind of distract people and deflect the attention from what's written on my forehead. Um but now that I think about it, I feel like wearing the headband actually might have made it worse. It might attract more eyes to my forehead. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just losing my mind right now, to be honest. All right, guys. So in front of me over here, you have what Devin Booker eats for breakfast every single day. Oh, before I start the video and eat all this food, let me just say something. So a lot of people are going to be like, Brandon, why are you doing Devin Booker's diet? You know, I've, I've seen people do eating LeBron James diet. Shout out to Cash Nasty. I've seen people do eating Tom Brady's diet, Floyd Mayweather diet. So Brandon, why are you choosing to do Devin Booker out of all the athletes in the world? Well, guys, if you're new to this channel and you don't know me, here's a little fun fact i am the biggest suns fan in the world i'm the biggest devin booker fan on this earth at this point i don't even know if i would call myself a fan devin booker is the homie i'm close to d book i know him personally bro devin booker has been to my house before look at this clip okay so he's in his room you can just knock yeah just Okay, so Devin Booker decided to pull up to my house, you know, a little surprise. He went out of his way to do it, so thank you. 
I appreciate it. Me, yeah, of course. Yeah, that was one of the most memorable days of my life, bro. Devin Booker pulling up to where I live. It was such a surreal moment that I will never forget till the day I die. On top of that, I've been to his house. I've been to his birthday parties. He's gifted me his game-worn shoes, like. Three-point shootout from this year. These are the shoes I wore. The logo on there. Sign. Sign and everything. For my guy. At this point, I don't even know if I would call myself a Devin Booker fan. That's just the homie. Back to today's video. So in front of me, you have Devin Booker's breakfast. And I know it doesn't look that big. It doesn't look like too much food. All it looks like is a bunch of healthy nutritional options. And hey, I guess there's a reason that he's a professional athlete. Because look at what he eats for breakfast. So every morning, Devin Booker has two hard-boiled eggs, some avocado, a bowl of oatmeal, a spoonful of almond butter, and an apple. I'm not gonna lie, I expected Devin Booker's breakfast to be a lot bigger, like a ham and cheese omelet, bacon on the side, toast, hash browns, pancakes, just a big old breakfast, because Devin Booker is a big dude. He's like six foot five, six foot six, over 200 pounds, so I just expected a bigger breakfast, but hey, I guess Devin Booker likes to keep it light and healthy for breakfast, so we're just gonna try it in order. We're gonna start hard-boiled egg. Mm. Okay, you see the hard-boiled egg with the yolk in the middle. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I like hard-boiled eggs. Don't get me wrong, okay? They taste good. But the one problem, when I eat hard-boiled eggs, bro, I be farting all day. Like, I don't know if that's too much information for a YouTube video. No, nah, it's all good. I love you guys. I keep it real with you guys. When I eat hard-boiled eggs, I, I literally, all day, Next up, after the hard boiled eggs. Avocado. Wow, this actually looks fire. I love avocado, I'm not gonna lie. So, mm. I would prefer the avocado on like a toast, but there's probably a reason why Devin Booker eats it on his own and no toast, probably because um, he's trying to avoid all those carbs. You know, he's a professional athlete, so the healthier you keep it, the better it is for your career. So next up, we have oatmeal. I'm not too sure exactly what flavor Devin Booker eats, but I just went ahead and got honey and almonds. So, hot. Ha! Ah, this is fire. I love oatmeal. A lot of people think oatmeal is for grandmas and grandpas and people who have no teeth. They think it's nasty. Uh-uh. I'm an oatmeal fan. I like oatmeal. Next, for Devin Booker's breakfast, he gets a spoonful of almond butter. Not peanut butter, almond butter. Again, I'm guessing it's because almond butter is healthier than peanut butter. Probably has more benefits to keep Devin Booker in shape and let him perform better on the basketball court. Almond butter. What the fuck is that? Ugh. This tastes like, 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 like nuts. Okay, pause, pause, pause. You know what I mean when I say it tastes like nuts. I don't mean like, you know what I mean, but peanut butter, in my opinion, is a million times better than almond butter. Bro, that tastes so like, um, so dry and super healthy and just not really any like sugar or any, any sweet flavor. Like it's just, Ah, uh-uh, ugh, this is, no, I don't, I don't, I don't like almond butter. I would not eat this again. Devin Booker, I don't know why you prefer almond butter over peanut butter, or maybe you don't. Maybe it just has better health benefits to keep you in better shape and have you perform better on the basketball court. I'm hoping that's the reason because I don't think anybody flavor-wise or taste-wise would ever choose almond butter over peanut butter. Okay, and the last part of Devin Booker's breakfast, he has... An apple. Bro, my favorite part about eating an apple is not even the taste. It's the sound of the crunch. Listen to this. Oh my God. I completely forgot that I had rug written all over my forehead. I completely forgot about it till right now. Dude, I probably look like a freaking goofy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but anyways, listen. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I hyped up the crunch way too much and this apple freaking, it's soft. There was no crunch, there was no crisp. Hold on, let me try a new one. I need to give you guys the, the, hold on, hold on. Okay, this one, this one just feels more crispy. So there needs to be a better sound. There we go. I love apples. One of my favorite fruits out there. People think I'm weird for eating it, um, this way, like 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 this. I don't know how to explain it. A lot of people tell me, bro, Brandon, you're supposed to eat an apple up to down like this. Like this. But I eat it side to side like this. 
I don't even know if I'm making sense right now or if I sound like a crackhead. But anyways, it's time to rate Devin Booker's breakfast. I'm not gonna lie, if it was up to me, what my breakfast choice is, is a freaking breakfast burrito from the taco shop down the street with eggs, bacon, ham, cheese, potatoes, sour cream, and a bunch of hot sauce. Maybe even go to McDonald's, get an egg McMuffin. Ooh, or a breakfast jack from Jack in the Box. That's what my ideal breakfast would be. Devin Booker's breakfast, a little too healthy for me. Well, I mean, hey, maybe that's the reason that he's a professional athlete playing for the Phoenix Suns, playing in the NBA, and I'm a freaking YouTuber. Maybe because our diets are a little bit different. We're done with Devin Booker's breakfast. It's time to move on to what he eats for lunch. But before we do that, I want to show you guys my Devin Booker jersey collection because I got a lot. So follow me, guys. Are you guys ready to see the jersey collection? Three, two, one. Look at... This, <laughs> bro, oh my goodness. You can't even fit all my Devin Booker jerseys all in the frame. That's how many I have, bro. Every single Devin Booker jersey you can imagine, I own it. I have it, bro. That's actually insane, dude. Like I said, biggest Devin Booker fan in the world. Oh, wait, and oh my God. I just did, what's up, brother? <laughs> but don't forget, I have one more jersey, the one that I'm wearing right now. Are you serious? Are you serious? How disrespectful are you being? Are you kidding? No, no. Hey, 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 hey. You're about to make me have a heart attack. What are you doing? This man's about to eat the jersey. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Let's go. Out, 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 out. No. Hey, bro, this man's trying to eat. The this man is literally trying to eat my Devin Booker jersey. Hey, dude, that's not food. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. That's not food. Bro, not to mention, I literally have a Devin Booker mural in the middle of my freaking house. Like, literally. A Devin Booker mural takes up a whole wall in my house, bro. Yeah, that's how much I love Devin Booker. Guys, real quick, before we move on to what Devin Booker eats for lunch, I almost forgot. A little bit after Devin Booker has his breakfast, the eggs, avocado, oatmeal, almond butter, he actually has a little mid-morning snack, which is a protein bar. So Devin Booker eats a protein bar after his breakfast, but before his lunch, in between his breakfast and his lunch. We got a protein bar right here. Let's try it. Mmm. Fire. 10 out of 10 taste. Now, call me crazy. If I had to guess, I don't think Devin Booker eats the double chocolate chip cookie dough protein bars. I feel like he probably gets the ones that are a little bit healthier than the one I bought. But I'm not Devin Booker. I'm Brandon, a.k.a. Barwadis. So I'm going to enjoy my double chocolate chip cookie dough protein bar. My guess for why he has this mid-morning protein bar is just to kind of keep his stomach full in between his breakfast and his lunch. There's probably a big break between the time he eats breakfast and the time he finally eats lunch. So this protein bar probably keeps him from getting hungry in between that time window. Taking a quick break from today's video to shout out our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. And I'm here to tell you guys what my favorite part of Underdog Fantasy is. That is their pick'em game. Underdog's pick'em game is so simple, it's so fun, and it makes watching the game Games a hundred times more exciting. Check this out. So all you gotta do is scroll through, find your favorite players, and you pick if you think they're gonna go higher or lower on their stat totals for the game. If you make your picks correctly, you will all win big money. Yes, it's that simple. And like I said, when you make your picks, I got higher on this stat, lower on this stat. It just makes watching the game so much more interesting. You know what I mean? On top of everything, it's the most exciting time of the year right now. NBA playoffs, the moment us sports fans have all been waiting for is finally here so you know underdog had to hit you guys with a crazy special for the playoffs if anthony edwards just scores one point one point you guys are all winners bro Do you guys understand how confident i am that anthony edwards is gonna go higher than 0 0.5 points oh and wait 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 if you guys don't trust me let me get everybody's favorite person on the phone right now and let's see what he thinks about this underdog special what up i just got a quick question bro is Anthony Edwards gonna score at least one point in, in his next game? 100%. You're confident in that? 100%. You're playing that on underdog? You know what? 
I might go put that in on the dog right now. Hey, come on. Everybody loves Dennis. If he says Anthony Edwards is scoring at least one point, then Anthony Edwards is scoring at least one point. And you guys will all be winning money, baby. So how do you sign up for Underdog and get the Anthony Edwards special? All you gotta do, click the link in my description down below or scan the QR code that you see on your screen right now. It will take you directly to the Underdog app. Underdog is available in 40 different states plus all of Canada. Look at the map right now to see if you're eligible. Use my promo code BROWADIS and Underdog will deposit match your first $100. What are you guys waiting for, bro? Sign up for Underdog Fantasy. Now back to today's video. Let's go, guys. Okay guys, it is finally time to eat Devin Booker's lunch. And if you take a look in front of me, again, just like his breakfast, very light options, not too much food, very healthy options, look at this. For Devin Booker's lunch, he eats one of two things, either a chicken salad or a tuna sandwich. He doesn't have both, he doesn't eat both of these things for lunch, he just picks whatever he's in the mood of that day, either a tuna sandwich or chicken salad. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be trying both because I can't read Devin Booker's mind. I don't know what he chose to eat today, but like I said, every day for lunch, Devin Booker picks either a chicken salad or a tuna sandwich. We're gonna start with the salad. If you guys know me, then you know I don't really like salads, but we're not filming what Brawadis eats in a day. We're filming what Devin Booker eats in a day. So, right here. Hmm. Okay. It's just your classic chicken Caesar salad with chicken, cheese, croutons, lettuce, and dressing. Me personally, not a big fan of salad, so I think I'm gonna enjoy the tuna sandwich a lot more. Look at this. Whoever made the sandwich was not shy with the tuna. They put so much tuna, this stuff is oozing out of the sandwich. I also got it on a croissant bread. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks fire. Tuna sandwich, AKA what Devin Booker has for lunch. Let's eat it. Mmm. Yo. Wait, oh my gosh. Yo. Yo. This is fire, bro. Hold on. I need another bite before I keep talking. Wait. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's so good. That deserves a face rug walk. I bet nobody on this earth has ever done the phase rug walk with rug tattooed on their forehead. Yeah, I'm the first person in history to do that. I'm not a big fan of healthy food, you guys know that, but dude, this tuna sandwich, mmm. Oh, that's amazing. For being somewhat healthy, that is amazing. It's way better than the salad. This might be my favorite thing from everything Devin Booker eats in a day. This is gonna be my number one item from all of Devin Booker's diet, bro. This is freaking 10 out of 10. The mayo from the tuna, the buttery croissant, you got the crisp from the lettuce, dude. Mmm. Yo, every bite is perfect. Devin Booker probably wakes up every single day and looks forward to his lunch just because of the tuna sandwich, bro. That is fire. Hey, D-Book, you really did something with your lunch, bro. I'ma start eating a tuna sandwich every single day for lunch myself now. So we ate Devin Booker's breakfast. We had his little protein bar snack. We ate Devin Booker's lunch. Now it's time to show you guys what Devin Booker has for dinner every single day. But before we do that, I wanna give you guys a little fun fact about my dog. I know, weird, right? What does my dog have anything to do with Devin Booker, right? Well, watch this, it's fun fact time. Okay guys, so this little dude right here, who is trying to make out with me for some reason, probably cause my tuna breath, but. So this little dude right here, my son, my baby, AKA my dog, his name is actually Booker. Yeah, that's right, named after Devin Booker. But the fun fact I wanna give you guys about my dog Booker, a lot of people think that I gave him the name Booker. That's actually not true, check this out. So when I got this dude, I didn't know what to name him. And Devin Booker has a little sister who is a fan of my videos. So she called me and she actually told me to name this dude Booker. A lot of people don't know that. That's my fun fact of the day. Everyone thinks that I named my dog Booker, but that's not true. Devin Booker's little sister actually gave this dude his name and he is now called Booker. Me being the idiot that I am, I think I was gonna name this dude Dog. Like I was literally gonna name him Dog. That was gonna be his name. So shout out to Devin Booker's sister, Maya, for helping me out and giving this dude a normal name. 
Okay guys, before we get into Devin Booker's dinner, his last meal of the day, we actually have another little snack that he likes to have in between his lunch and his dinner. Check this out. So after he has his tuna sandwich, he has a little mid-afternoon snack, which is a protein shake and a protein bar. Let's start with the protein shake. So guys, once again, this little snack, I'm sure the reason for this is, is just to kind of keep him full. After he has his tuna sandwich, he probably waits hours and hours and hours before he has dinner. So this little protein shake and protein bar just kind of probably just helps keep him full until it's dinner time but let's try the protein shake ah, fire i went with a strawberry flavor so fire protein shake and then protein bar this is protein bar number two of the day that's a lot of protein, but you have to imagine that Devin Booker, being a professional athlete, probably has multiple workouts every single day, probably has like a morning shoot around, another workout before the game, and then he has to play in a full basketball game, so it makes sense why he has to have so much protein throughout the day, probably just helps him recover, helps his muscles recover faster, but protein bar number two of the day. Far. 10 out of 10. We got Devin Booker's mid-afternoon snack out of the way. The snack he likes to eat between lunch and dinner. Now it's time for Devin Booker's final meal of the day, dinner. Oh wait guys, before I eat Devin Booker's dinner, I almost forgot. Bro, how did I forget about this? Follow me, follow me. We gotta go to my secret Phoenix Suns room to see this. Come here guys. So as we make our way over to my Phoenix Suns room, yes, I have a room fully dedicated to the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, I wasn't joking. I literally have an entire bedroom in my house dedicated only to the Phoenix Suns. Nobody sleeps here. There's no bed. There's no nothing. No one's allowed to sleep in this room. No one's allowed to even come in this room except for me. It's just dedicated to the Phoenix Suns and... Devin Booker, as you see up there. But when I was showing you guys my Devin Booker jersey collection, I almost forgot about one jersey, the most important jersey of my whole collection. I genuinely can't believe I almost forgot to show you guys this in the video. Look, this right here is a Devin Booker college jersey that he actually wore in a college basketball game. And the reason this is framed and why I never wear it, why this is the most important jersey out of my whole Devin Booker jersey collection, because I didn't go to the store and buy this jersey i didn't go online and order this jersey to my house uh-uh this jersey right here means so much to me because devin booker actually gave me this jersey when i went to his house he took me in his closet pulled this jersey out oh that's a semi point the ball official <laughs> official here we go man you got the white one you got a, i got a white one there you go game, game one Game worn. You know how many you dropped in this one? Game worn. He wore this in a college game. Took it out of his closet and gave it to me. Like I said, bro, D-Book, that's the homie. And that's why this jersey is the most important jersey out of all my Devin Booker jerseys. And why this jersey means so much to me, bro. Because this literally came from Devin Booker's hands, from Devin Booker's closet. Look, you can even see it's a little yellow at the top. That's probably sweat stained on the jersey, bro, because this was game worn. And I can't believe I almost forgot to show you guys this in today's video, bro. I, that, that's crazy. But anyways, time to go eat Devin Booker's dinner. All right, guys, it is finally time for Devin Booker's last meal of the day, dinner. So if you look over here, you have a bowl that comes with fish. Right here, we went with a salmon. And this is a rice bowl, but you already know to keep up with the health. It's not white rice. This is, well, let me freaking, if there's actually any rice in here. This is brown rice. Okay, all right, bro, all the rice is under. But anyways, it's a salmon and rice bowl with brown rice, avocado, some beans, and, and usually it's there's a lot of veggies. I don't know if you guys could see them, bro. There's some lettuce under here. I don't know. They didn't do too good of a job constructing this bowl. Devin Booker's dinner every night is a bowl with brown rice, fish, and a bunch of veggies. But he probably has his better looking than this. But again, very, very light dinner, very healthy dinner, very nutritious. Let's try it. Salmon. And rice. Mm. Very healthy taste. Very healthy taste, bro. Not only is the salmon grilled, so it's healthy. Not only does it have avocado and a bunch of other veggies, which makes it also healthy, but even down to the tea with the rice. It's not white rice, bro. Even the brown rice in here, like, this is just a very, very healthy dinner. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. It's just a little too healthy for your boy, but... 
Again, like I said, Devin Booker is a professional athlete. He has to eat healthy. You know what, bro? If we're being honest, Devin Booker probably wants to eat McDonald's. He wants Raising Cane's. He wants Popeye's chicken. He wants In-N-Out burgers, Shake Shack burgers. He probably wants all those things, but he's a professional athlete who plays in the NBA. He has to go up against guys like LeBron James, Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Steph Curry. So in order to keep up with the best players, you gotta eat like the best. So that's probably why Devin Booker's diet looks like this. It's part of his job bro you think he wants to eat healthy like this probably not he probably wants to eat dirty but your job as a professional athlete is to stay in shape keep your health at a very very high level so Devin Booker sort of has to eat this healthy just because of what his job is so you guys saw Devin Booker's breakfast lunch dinner and all the snacks in between were all very healthy options very low in fat no sugar no candy no chips no soda none of that bro it's, it's actually crazy to think that this is how professional athletes eat every single day oh wait I almost forgot after Devin Booker's dinner a couple hours later before he goes to bed he actually has one more snack he has another protein shake before he goes to bed so like I said Devin Booker probably goes through multiple workouts every single day plus a full basketball game so he needs his protein to help his muscles recover so another protein shake right before bed cheers Oh, this one's fire. D-Book has even more protein at night before going to bed. His diet consists of a lot of protein, bro. That's something I learned today. So this probably isn't only how Devin Booker's diet looks. This is probably what 99% of the athletes in the NBA or NFL or soccer, this is probably what all professional athletes' diets look like. Honestly, you gotta stay in shape to be the best at your job. But when you're committed to your job and you wanna be one of the best in your profession, then you gotta eat a certain way and live a healthy lifestyle. All right, guys. That is going to close out today's video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. I'm not gonna lie, something that caught my eye about Devin Booker's diet, something I didn't know. If you notice, there was no red meat. A lot of fish, a lot of chicken, there was eggs, rice, protein, and all that stuff, but there wasn't any red meat. There was no steak, there was no burgers, no beef, ribeye, filet mignon, none of that stuff. So I don't know, I'm not too educated when it comes to the healthy side of things, but maybe um red meat isn't that good for you. Maybe red meat isn't that healthy. Maybe Chicken and fish are a lot more healthier than red meat. I don't know, but that's just one thing that stood out to me about Devin Booker's diet. No red meat, no steak, no beef. Oh, and guys, real quick, now that the NBA playoffs are starting, I want everybody watching this video, comment down below who you think is gonna win the NBA championship. You guys already know my pick. I don't even have to say it. I got my Phoenix Suns winning the NBA championship this year. I have us beating the Boston Celtics in the finals. Suns, Celtics finals, and the Phoenix Suns are gonna come out on top. That's my pick, but I wanna hear your guys' predictions. I wanna know what my supporters think. So if you're a basketball fan, hit the comment section down below and let me know who you think is gonna win the NBA championship this season go sons baby that's my pick other than that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it has been your boy brandon aka brawadis i love you guys all and i'm out peace oh and phase rug now i can finally go take this shit off my forehead hey bro i don't think this shit's coming off bro Dude, I don't know what he used to freaking write this, but it's, did he actually tattoo my forehead? <laughs> I swear it's not coming off, bro. It's not coming off. What the heck?